Hello students, once again I have come up with a video to describe you about adjectives. In the previous video I had explained you the definition of adjective. Then I had also told you about the two types I had discussed in the previous video that is adjectives of quality and adjectives of quantity. Now this is a part of your book and uh, what you see over here, there are some other types also. I had discussed with you adjectives of quality, I had discussed with you last time the adjectives of quantity and in this video we will study ahead also, we will study about adjectives of number, we will study about demonstrative adjectives, we will study about possessive adjectives, we will study about interrogative adjectives. Students, now Let's uh, take some examples given over here. There are some examples given over here. Notice the adjectives which are given in color in the given sentences that are given below. Now, the first example is, I am a horrible cook. You see over here, there is a cook over here and the cook is cooking. And the person says for himself, I am a horrible cook. Or the person cooks badly. Take the another one, the other sentence says, this is an interesting book. Now the word horrible and interesting are describing words, students. Horrible describes the quality of the cook and interesting describes the quality of the book. Now students, these adjectives answer the questions of what kind. Students, what kind of cook was what kind of book was so they are answering questions of what kind hence the word horrible and interesting are adjectives of quality and hence that is why they are called as adjectives of quality students now notice the adjectives in color in the sentences which are given below the first sentence is mega has little patience what kind of patience, uh, how much patience, it's not what kind of patience because we know there is no other kind of patience. So it cannot be adjective of quality. So what does it mean? It means when we are saying that Mega has little patience, so we are assessing how much patience does Mega has. So Mega has little patience. Or you can also say Mega is impatient lady or an impatient girl. So this word little is an adjective of quantity students. Take another example. There is not much oil left. Now the word much over here is in color and it is a describing word and it's, it, it's, uh, it is an adjective of quantity. It describes how much oil is left. So the answer is not much. Students, these adjectives or the adjectives of quantity, quantity describes or answers how much. And these kind of describing words are called adjectives of quantity. Now move ahead students, now notice the adjectives in color which are given below in the sentences. The first sentence says, Tenzing stood first in my class. Now this is a position, we are telling a number. Mr. Bhatia has four cars. Again, the word first and the word four they are numbers, they are telling position or they are telling numbers. Now students, adjectives of number, such kind of adjectives, students, answer the questions in what order and how many. In the first example, we had read Tenzing stood first in my class. So it is answering the question in what order. And 
taking this next example mr bhatia has four cars so question is how many cars four cars now students these are ordinal and cardinal in nature these number adjectives or adjectives of number students are actually ordinal and cardinal in nature when we say ordinal in nature we are telling an order for example we said tenzing stood first in class so first is a position so it's an order where what position so we are telling it's the first position when we are saying cardinal so it's just a number it's not a position but it's a number so when we took the next sentence mr bhatia has four cars so this is a cardinal number students so such kind of adjectives are called adjectives of number and uh, they are also called as definite numeral adjectives why definite students because we are telling students the number over there whether it's an ordinal number or whether it's a cardinal number what order students what position first in class mr bhatia how many cars four cars so we are telling numbers that are definite okay so that is why it's called definite numeral adjectives students students now we move ahead now we study about adjectives of number can further be divided into these categories for example some children were going on a picnic another example is most people prefer to stay indoors on a weekend now students here in these sentences these there are adjectives some and most and what are the answering question they answer the question how many how many children were going on picnic some children then taking the second one how many people prefer to stay indoors on a weekend most of the people most people so they are answering the question how many without referring to an exact number as earlier we had taken in the previous one we had uh, discussed about there were numbers over there fixed numbers over there but here we do not know the number of children over here whether they were three whether they were five whether they were 10 or 15 we do not know same way when we say most people prefer to stay indoors it means there are some uh, there are people over here in this world that uh, do not prefer to stay indoors so students we do not know the number how many people stay indoors and how many people stay outside or outdoors so they are answering the question how many without referring to an exact number as it was in an earlier one where we were giving the ordinal and the cardinal number over there now moving ahead students that is why because we are using the word some we are using the word most students because of that and we are not referring to any kind of exact number hence such kind of adjectives are also called adjectives of number but if we classify it it's an indefinite numeral adjectives in the earlier one we studied the definite one where there was a number given over there either it was ordinal number or it's a cardinal number but it was a number but over here when we see this over here it's an indefinite numeral adjective we are using the word some and most we are not telling any number over here how many children we do not know most of the people how many people we do not know we do not know the number of people students now 
let's take another one each boy must submit his work today now the word each and in the next example it's given every pill has expired now the word each and every are adjectives and they refer to each one of a number now these are a kind of number adjectives of number and are called as distributive numeral adjectives simply because it's being referred to each person each boy each pill every pill so we are telling something that is distributive we have distributed for different things or different people students with this we come to the end of this video thank you